What is going on, DP Nation? Welcome to 10 Facts About Dude Perfect You Probably Do Not Know. I am joined with my host, Asher, as usual. Welcome, God. Yes, so this is actually a bonus episode. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Asher, what is the summary of this episode? Oh, yeah, so this week uh, we have a little bit of a fun bonus episode. It's our first one. Um... We have 10 facts about Dude Perfect. You guys probably don't know about uh, Dude Perfect or whatever. Um, I compiled all of these. Um, Most of these I knew, you know, from having five years of Dude Perfect knowledge. But um, some of these I actually didn't know. Like a couple of these, no one I did not know um, about Dude Perfect. So this is really, really fun. If you are a longtime Dude Perfect fan... You are going to want to stay tuned for this. This isn't just like like easy stuff like, uh, oh, Jeff Tony is their manager, like yeah. Tyler's dad. No. This is hard, in-depth stuff that if you're a, a Dude Perfect fan for one day, you're going to want to listen. If you're a Dude Perfect fan for 11 years, you're going to want to listen. This is amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, so Asher, what? Uh, and all these facts are all uh are all at or updated at October nineteenth, twenty twenty. So yeah, these, yeah. some of these may have changed. Probably mm-hmm. not. May change in the future. Yeah. Um. But yeah. yeah. And so, then all the resources that I got these facts from are all linked in the description, um, down below. They're the bottom. Uh, like links or whatever, so go check them out if you want to learn where these facts came from. And also, if you want to use some of these facts or all of these facts that we talk about um, in a YouTube video, you want to make a video or you want to do something with them, uh, we'd love to have you use them. We would just ask if you please, 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 it would be great if you could um, shout us out or, you know, leave something in the description or basically talk about say it. you got the info from us yeah, yeah, yeah because you know spent spent some hours we spent doing years that. on this we did we like honestly we did uh i spent five years trying to learn all these facts yeah. yeah okay um, uh let's get into it Asher. Yeah. what is the first fact okay so the first fact about Dude Perfect that you probably didn't know about is Dude Perfect was part of the Harlem Globetrotters. So back in 2011, the guys in Dude Perfect began began a friendly rivalry with the original Trickshot Masters, the Harlem Globetrotters. Um, the Harlem Globetrotters were, you know, definitely a big um, inspiration to Dude Perfect and stuff like that. Um, they aren't really the original, they're the original, uh, basketball trick shot masters, yeah. but not the original trick shot masters, you know, cause that's of course too perfect. But, um, yeah, so the two teams met up at ranch for a game at the ranch, the dude perfect ranch for a game of course. Um, the dudes managed or, to impress the globe trotters with their signature super large fishing pole shot, earning an invitation to become a part of the team during their 2015 draft. Yeah. Um, a word on whether or not the dudes accepted the offer. They probably did. So, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, if you guys remember from the final game time on this podcast, I, I asked Asher this question. No, you actually didn't because – that was actually a part of the cutout version because we spent 24 hours. Oh, on game yes, game. yes, it, it was a yeah. we cut it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we spent 24 hours and we still kept getting tied or something happened. And yeah, go go check out actually. Game time if if you guys want, if you guys want that, those clips from when we cut the, the cutouts of those that wasn't in the episode. Make sure to go on when this episode comes out. There will be a post on Instagram. Go comment that you want to see those. Yeah. Because yeah. I think that would be really funny if we released them as like a small bonus thing. Yeah, definitely. 
But yeah, so Dude Perfect was part of the Harlem Globetrotters. That yeah. was pretty cool. Big move for them. And yeah, you probably didn't know about that. Yeah. yeah. That hey, not all of us don't know what that is or what that is. I that makes no sense. Okay, the next one is Dude Perfect was mad at Guinness World Records. Uh, so, Dude Perfect attempted to set the world record for longest basketball shot, which they did. In 2014, they sunk a 561-foot shot at Reunion Tower in Dallas, Texas. However, the folks at Guinness don't recognize this shot as the longest basket. As far as they're concerned, Hall- the Harlem Globetrotter Thunderlaw holds that record, which he set in 2013 by sinking a 109 foot 9 inch shot at US Airways Arena in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. And we do not know why they do not recognize Dude Perfect shot. Yeah. I mean this was on video. Yeah. You know, they have all the evidence. They could show them the other case. This wasn't edited at all. Well, they have uh, a, they have a plaque too. No, this is this is one that they did back in twenty fourteen. Uh, I remember. I, yeah, this was a uh, world record edition. No, no that was in twenty sixteen. Uh, this one was from no, no, no. Uh, this, from the moving, uh, moving thing. They were like the Tyler and or Garrett and Kobe. I think uh, were moving the basketball goal, or like you know, like running it back and forth. Trying to get the ball in as Tyler shot it from. Oh, okay, okay. So I think I know why they didn't count it is because the basket was moving, and they didn't have a person on site. Oh, um, okay, that also makes sense. But like again, it's adjudicator or whatever. Yeah. But I think I mean there is reason to do perfect. Should be mad. I don't know. I I would be if I was do perfect. Only for a little. I wouldn't really hold a grudge. Yeah. Six deep. You know, that was back in 2014. But, yeah. you know, I think I, I, that isn't really fair. It is on video and stuff like that. But um, also, you know, it's not like, well, the, you know, definitely they, they definitely didn't. But they could think, oh, it could be edited. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I don't know. But um, there is, like, they did go back in 2016, as Noah was saying. And they did actually make this record for you. Yeah. Um, so moving on to the next fact, and this is a fact that's kind of alarming. So Dude Perfect doesn't want to do trick shots forever. So Dude Perfect, so the dudes um, eventually want to do other things on the Dude Perfect channel. Um, in June of 2015, Tyler Colt told the colonel, uh, we don't want to be 40-year-olds on YouTube doing basketball shots. Um, and no one wants to see them, see that too, or whatever. Um, don't worry. That doesn't mean that they will stop making content forever. Um, and then, you know, they, the dudes went on to say they're always going to want to be entertaining people, uh, differently, maybe. Uh, they they might, uh, be training their sons or like an, another generation of dude perfect. Um, or they might just be doing overtime battles, bucket list stereotypes, you know. They might be doing that um, for a while. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just focus. Yeah. Well, we can already actually see that happen. Yeah, definitely. We, I mean, this was back in 2015 that yeah. they said that. But yeah, but, but we definitely. can kind of, we can start seeing how they've, they're starting to go away from trick shots. Mm-hmm. And they're having like guests in the trick shots so it's not all them or whatever yeah. you know not a lot of time having just them yeah trying to try you know which is sad you know because they were built off of trick shots and you know they won't end off the of trick shots they will probably you know start a new generation um or even just not do it anymore which would be really sad um but, yeah. I mean, they have an amazing amount of trick shots that they can always play back, and it's going to be a world record that they will forever hold. Well, I, I, they're definitely not going to be. I feel like they definitely, if, if we look back, you know, they've had uh, Carthorne trick shots, two ping pong trick shots. And, you know, yeah. they haven't, I don't, 
I think ping pong was the last one, right? Uh, yeah, impossible ping pong trick shots. Yeah, with Adam Alvaro. So that was August, right? Yeah. So we haven't had one since August. I don't think we won't be. I don't think we'll be getting one in, in for the rest of twenty twenty. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't I think, think so. That. I really don't. Which, I, which is definitely showing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like last year, there was less. Now this year, there's only what like. Only like a few. I there think was like there was maybe eight, like five. Four. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, the dudes like uh to- Corey, Cody, Toby are all thirty three. Um, Tyler is like thirty one. Ty Ty's thirty two. Okay. Or uh, turning thirty two, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, I think they're all, you know, it's it's almost the time where they stop doing trick shots, which is really sad. Uh, yeah, I, I feel know? like I feel like this is kind of going to be the transitioning time. I feel I feel like yeah. in the next like five years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. Now on to the next one, which is Dude Perfect got a manager a few days after their first video. So uh, after the success of their first video, Backyard Edition, the dudes had emails and calls from TV shows, celebs, and fans about collabing and interviews. Uh, Tyler's dad had some experience managing things, so the dudes went to him to help with all the popularity a few days after the first vid. So, Ty's dad but has been, like, their manager for basically their whole time. Yeah, for Dude Perfect's existence. Yeah. Which, which is just crazy. Yeah, I mean, in the book Go Big, um, you know, Tyler's, or Jeff Tony. Um, that's Tyler's dad, their manager, uh, was kind of, you know, kind of Corey said or whatever that he, um, saw a passion, like a motivation or whatever, that there was something in Dude Perfect, even after a few days of it being up, that they could actually get big and, you know, that he wasn't full time on Dude Perfect, just like the dudes, they weren't full time on Dude Perfect till like maybe 2013 or something like that. 2012, 2013, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, you know, they definitely, you know, they had, uh, Tyler's dad and, you know, they had him there. Yeah. And it's cool that they had one. And fun fact, I actually, when I went down to Dude Perfect headquarters, I saw Jeff Tony get in his truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Which I was super surprised. Okay. What's Mm -hmm. the next one, Asher? The next one is Corey Cotton himself is a published author. So you guys might know, I just said it. Uh, Corey wrote a book in 2011 about, um, at, like, Go Big. It's called, uh, you know, it's kind of the start of Dude Perfect, like an overview or whatever, um, talking about how you can make your shot count, kind of like tips on how if you want to make a YouTube channel or you want to go big. Um so now he's a published author because of that. Um, but you guys probably don't know that in a Dude Perfect Squad video in either late 2019 or early 2020, um, they actually said that we can expect another Dude Perfect book by the end of Dude Perfect. So in the next few years, I uh, know, uh, before the end of Dude Perfect, you can expect another well, but we don't. Do, but dude, perfect is definitely not ending anytime soon. No, no, definitely not ending. You know, they might be ending trick shots in a few years, but but you know, not maybe they'll time. make like a trick shot book or something, kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, hey, another dude, perfect book. Yeah, kind of cool. Okay, so the next one is dude, perfect doesn't talk about the six me- member. Uh, as you guys know, dude, perfect. Had a six men member uh, named Sean Townsend. Uh, he left a few years in because he wanted to be a doctor. He went to yeah. college for that, so he left. Uh, Dude Perfect doesn't uh, talk about him when talk about like the start of DP. They definitely they may have had a falling out. Uh, they probably maybe they just don't want to talk about him because you know it may be confusing to people like what the heck? Or maybe it's just like, he doesn't really want to be recognized as that anymore. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, I, I don't think they probably didn't have a falling out. I, yeah, I wouldn't, I would 
Well, yeah, I don't know. He's now a actual doctor, so no, he's not Panda. Um, he's an actual doctor who's doing doctor things in uh, Dallas, Texas, or Frisco, or whatever. Yeah, Dallas, um, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I think uh, they, which is kind of weird that they don't talk about him. So he was in videos from the first video to about, like, 20, 2010, 2011. Yeah. He got out, um, which is kind of weird that he was in, only in a few, and he, they left, and then he they don't talk about him. Yeah, I'm surprised so, they didn't even talk about him in, like, the documentary. Yeah, like, they haven't talked about him ever, I don't think, in Duke Parker. It's yeah, like, well, they they probably have in, like, some things, but, like, definitely not yeah. much. And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so, I, I, and I think the reason they, they probably talked to him, like, before, and, like, would he be fine with being in the documentary a little bit? And he yeah. probably was like, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. Like, yeah. I, I don't want to be in the public eye anymore, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so then the next one is Dude Perfect is very, very charitable. So, um, as you may know, Dude Perfect is a very, very charitable bunch of dudes. They partnered with Compassion International, uh, Charity Water, and then Make a Wish. Um, and then they've even started their own foundation, the Dude Perfect Do- Foundation that they talk about in the Dude Perfect documentary, um, to help people who are going through hard times. So, yeah, that's really, really cool yeah. for Dude Perfect, you know, that they're doing stuff like that. And they don't really take their work for granted. They don't own crazy cars they don't you know do that stuff they don't take fame you know to their head they're christians you know they really uh do their work very good and they make sure that their content is good and you know their fans are liking what they want and you know really give back to their fans so yeah yeah great bunch of dudes okay on to the next one which is dude perfect was once the biggest YouTube channel in the USA. Yeah. Uh, so as of right now, Dude Perfect is the fifth biggest YouTube channel in America. But back in 2017, they were the largest YouTube channel in America. Uh, in the past yeah. three years, there have been other big YouTubers uh, who have taken their place, but they still have that record and are very happy about that fact. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of what are the I what the Ellen Show. I'm pretty sure is more. Or, uh, or yeah. no, no, there's they, like, they're no, they're above the. You know, that. They're, there's Coco Melon, mm. that's number one right now. There's like the Diana Show. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, there's a few. There's, but they are the fifth right now, as of, uh, you know, October 2020. Um, but yeah, hopefully they can go up. I don't know. Mr. Beast is definitely gonna go past them pretty soon. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, you know, it's always cool that have, you know, the biggest YouTube channel in all of America. Uh, Ah, yeah, the Diana show. Uh, also looks like WWE. Mm. Hmm, yeah. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but. Ryan's World is one. Well, not, actually not above, Um, but. Yeah, I don't, maybe even not the WWE, I don't know. But, yeah, so that leads into the next one, which is Dude Perfect is the number one biggest sports YouTube channel. So, um, I don't know about WWE. Uh, I don't think they're considered sport. No, I don't, you know, to some people, WWE is a sport. But it's not, I wouldn't say it's in the sports category on YouTube. Yeah, I I would have to agree, but we might get a lot of hate for that. So we'll just take that back for right now. We didn't say anything. I, I, but so, I, I may not even be the most. I don't feel like it is. I don't feel like it would be. But yeah, so the Dude Perfect is currently the number one biggest sports YouTube channel in the world. So for the past five years, Dude Perfect has held the record of being the biggest sports YouTube channel in the world. Um, and then probably for the next few years, because the second biggest YouTube channel has only 22 million subscribers. That is a sports Dude, channel. Yeah, Dude Perfect has uh, three, uh, 53.7 million 
subscribers. So yeah, yeah probably for the next few years, we're gonna yeah. have that. And the um, next and final fact. Wait, 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 Noah, do you hear that? Oh, what? Oh, a bonus fact. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my bonus. gosh. Bonus, okay. So, the bonus fact is that guys, Dude Perfect has won. So the first and only fans podcast. So Dude Perfect has a fans podcast. Oh. Um, started July fifth, twenty nineteen. Dude Perfect got a uh, fan podcast, and they've been running it for about a year, a little over a year now. So, yeah, yeah around, so, so coming to like a out. year and a half. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, go check the them out. The Dude Perfect fan cast. Um, actually, fun fact, guys, you're listening to that. Yeah. What? Wow. You ha- you guys We're have the- been what I call tricked. Yeah, you are. You guys, for all this time, you're thinking that we were somebody else. But, guys, we are the Dude Perfect fan cast. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You, you guys so got pranked. pranked. Yeah. I'm sorry, but we pranked you. Yeah. Um. But first, before we go on to the biggest, Dude Perfect's biggest controversy. Whoa. Uh, we just like to say next episode, so episode 35 of the show, we will be re- uh, revealing three big, huge newses for the Dude Perfect podcast. <laughs> newses, yeah. yes. But yeah, uh, yeah, we have, I'll say it in English, proper English. Uh, we okay. have three big announcements. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. You guys are going to be so excited for them. I'm so hyped for them, too. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm so excited for you guys to know because they're great. Yeah, and maybe we've been the best. Kind of, yeah, we've been uh, talking, like hinting about one for a few months now. Uh, we've had one. We just, like, made it or whatever. We've had that in the running for a few weeks. And then one. Uh, we just thought about, it, and that's going to be really, really fun. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So if you guys like do perfect, then you're going to want to listen. Okay. You oh no. Big yeah. Dude perfect fans, you're going to want to listen to this big news, episode thirty-five. If you're a big podcast fan and you like listening, listening to funny stuff and liking to laugh, then you're going to want to check out episode thirty-five. Hey Asher, I'm going to I'm going to tell no. one we're writing a book. Uh, whoa, whoa, no, we're not. No, that. we're not. Well, I don't book. think I could. You guys just I, got pranked again. <laughs> wow, yeah. This is a trickster show. I don't know. May, maybe yeah. these aren't oh. even, maybe these facts are actually just about us, not even about Dude Perfect. Wow. We yeah. are actually uh, Dude Perfect. Whoa, that would be the biggest one of all. Yeah. Um, okay. But, yeah, so guys, uh, stay tuned. Episode 35, we're also going to be reviewing. Uh, Overtime 19 on that episode. So, yeah, stay tuned. It's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah we'll okay. The, uh, the next about- and final fact you probably did not know about Dude Perfect is Dude Perfect's biggest controversy. Uh, so, mm-hmm. as you guys know, over the years, Dude Perfect has become an internet icon. Huh, I wonder where you got that from, Asher. For mm-hmm. dopeness, greatness, and and overall the face of being amazing. And yeah. people are like, dude, perfect's amazing. Uh, but the number one most asked question is, is dude perfect fake? Uh, the dudes have been asked a couple billion times, but the only answer is no. Dude perfect is not fake and has not faked a shot ever. They even had an opportunity in their first video to fake a shot, but they didn't. Or did they? Oh, conspiracy oh. theory. Oh, uh, no, but yeah, so in their first video, I forget where you, maybe a Dude Perfect Squad video, I don't know where I heard it, but, um, I, but Dude Perfect had an opportunity to fake a shot because it looked like it was going to go in, like it looked like it got, went in and there was celebration, but they thought, no, and from the start, Dude Perfect has never faked a shot. There has been some instances that they kind of like, Gimp, like, you know, they did say, like, this is, like, I'm going to get, like, three shots in a row or whatever, or, like, 
Tyler, say, take for example, he got, um, he painted the corner, so he got a goal out of each corner of a um, hockey yeah. rank or thingy. And then there's different cuts from when he got the shot. So there's like uh, multiple times in between that he got the, um, like he actually made the shot. So, like, they have done that in the past, but, you know, they've never faked an actual shot. Yeah. So, yeah. The, the only times they would fake a shot if it's, like, purposeful. Yeah. Like, like if, if it it's, was, like, like, for, like, a funny. video. Like, for, like, a funny yeah. video. Or something. Yeah, or, like, a stereotype. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, but, yeah, yeah that um, is it. Asher, do you have anything to say? Uh, go check out episode 35 next Friday. So yeah, Friday in a few days. So that's four days as of you guys. I'm just so, saying this may even be better than Cody Jones edition. Honestly, I think episode 35 will probably be the biggest and best ever episode of the Dude Perfect Fancast. I'm going on a limit thing now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you guys will have to stick tuned. Stay tuned. I don't know. But yeah. yeah. I'm just. Uh, oh, a- actually, before we go, uh, uh, we would like Asher and I would like to thank you for getting Cody Jones edition to. Yeah. I think like, uh, one second here. Uh, five hundred and fifty total plays. Yeah. Which is just yeah, crazy. Which is mm-hmm. one of our biggest episodes ever. Yeah, and we got 500 plays in the first only week. Yeah, which, which is, is the bi- which is te- which is the biggest episode. Yeah, the yeah. biggest grossing. It's kind of like the Avengers End Game of po- of our yeah. podcast. Yeah, it's not the biggest episode we've had. Episodes, you know, from 1500 plays or whatever, but but it's definitely the those were work. like the first and actually, but one of them is our first episode, and the other one is the 11th episode, which is actually. Almost a year to our uh, one month hiatus. Yeah. Or not so, one month, six month hiatus. Mm-hmm. But yeah, guys, hope you like listening to this episode. Yeah. If you want more bonus episodes, stay tuned. We might be having some more bonus yeah. episodes um, soon. But yeah, guys, hope you like this. Yeah. Um, and just remember, Dude Perfect mm-hmm. is has become an internet icon for dopeness, greatness, and overall the face of being amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure that you live your life to the fullest. Because... Yeah. Um, a little inspirational quote from Noah. Mm-hmm. And Asher, I, I, Asher I'm short. expecting you to put some, like, piano there. Like, inspirational okay. quotes from no, Noah. No, there's not going to be piano until this. Although the ceiling may be short. The field may be long. But the game, the game is wide is open. wide open. There we go. There's your inspirational quote from the week. Uh, maybe we'll yes. start doing them weekly now. Uh, yeah, yeah, follow us on Instagram, dude underscore perfect underscore fancast, or link in the, in the description. Go check out the High Five Steve Fancast, Nerds Podcast. Episode 14 will be coming out tomorrow. Yeah. yeah it's going to be the episode. Um, so yeah, uh, for now, pound it. Pound it. Noggin. Noggin. See ya. See ya. Good night.